BBC News with David Harper. The British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has offered to send Ukraine 120 armoured vehicles and new anti-ship missile systems during a meeting with President Volodymyr Zelensky in the capital, Kiev. Downing Street said Britain would guarantee an additional $500 million to Ukraine via the World Bank. An international gathering to provide aid to Ukraine has raised $11 billion. Donors, including governments, businesses, banks and individuals, made the pledges at the event in Poland called Stand Up for Ukraine. The governor of the eastern Ukrainian region of Luhansk has warned that Russia is increasing its shelling and amassing its troops and has urged people to flee. Serhi Gaidai said about a third of residents had remained in the area and their lives were at risk. Ukraine's president said Russia was now concentrating its forces in the east and south of the country. A vote of no confidence in Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan has still not gone ahead in Parliament, despite a Supreme Court ruling that it must happen today. The BBC correspondent in Islamabad says Mr Khan appears to be refusing to hold the vote, knowing that he will lose. The Tunisian authorities say at least 13 African migrants have drowned after their boat sank off the coast near Sfax. A Tunisian judicial official said another 10 migrants are missing. It's thought those involved were trying to reach Europe. The Nigerian military says a senior jihadist commander and other fighters have been killed during an operation in the northeast of the country. It said the regional military unit, known as the Multinational Joint Task Force, had killed Abu Bakr Dan Banduma and 19 fighters with the Islamic State West Africa province near Lake Chad. Four astronauts taking part in the first all-private mission to the International Space Station have arrived on board. The crew, consisting of a pilot and three passengers, are due to spend eight days orbiting the Earth. The flight is being hailed as a milestone in the commercialisation of spaceflight. BBC News.